From an intelligent robot that transforms into a rideable e-bike, an electric light motorbike capable of retracting its wheels, an e-bike rideable on water, to a quadcopter hoverbike. Welcome back everyone to Futurelicious, where we bring the latest innovations, technology, and gadgets. E-Cooter is the only four-wheel tilting street vehicle in the world. It features a built-in hydraulic tilt system that allows banking up to 45 degrees into corners while maintaining traction. It's an all-new and one-of-a-kind product category that combines the road handling and safety of an automobile with the fun and riding dynamics of a motorcycle. The EHTS hydraulic tilting system locks the tilting while the vehicle is stopped or parked to allow riders to keep their feet up while stopped. The e cooter is powered by Zero's Z-Force 75-7 motor, which provides up to 60 horsepower and 110 nanometers of peak torque. This is powered by a 10.8 kilowatt battery pack with a recharge time of 6 hours and can travel up to 93 miles on a single charge. Kanguro is an intelligent robot that is transformable and rideable. It was planned and developed by Future Robotics Technology Center of Chiba Institute of Technology. Kanguro assists the person as a partner robot. When the person wants to move, it automatically transforms itself into a vehicle. In robot mode, Kanguro follows its master around giving help, sometimes as a communications terminal. Even from some distance away, Kanguro comes to its operator upon a call from a smartphone or tablet. It transforms itself automatically when the operator wants to travel. When the driver leans left or right, Kanguro actively transforms its body and leans accordingly. It gives the rider a sense of human-machine interactions as if they were skiing. If you enjoy our content, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for further updates. BioHybrid is a pedal-powered electric vehicle that can be driven without a driver's license. It combines the freedom and maneuverability of a bicycle with the carrying capacity and weather protection of a small car. The light electric vehicle is equipped with a roof and windscreen, is open at the sides, and will be available either with a second passenger seat, a box body with a capacity of 1,500 liters, or as a pickup variant with an open cargo area. The electric drive supports users up to a speed of 16 miles per hour, just like an e-bike. It can be driven by pedal power, batteries, or both at once. It's powered by two batteries at 500 watts each and a range of 60 miles. Trigo is an electric light vehicle designed for large cities with the ability to retract its wheels. It leans into the corners. At higher speeds, its front wheels are spread out for stability, but slow down and they can be pulled in for easier parking. Developed for car sharing and package delivery, the Trigo EV has a top speed of 56 miles per hour. In cruise driving mode, the Trigo measures 58 inches wide but a speed of 21.7 miles per hour, a mechanism draws in the front wheels towards the chassis for a width of 34 inches, great for parking and maneuvering. It also features a tilting mechanism that leans the all-electric city runabout into corners by up to 20 degrees for a motorcycle-like feel. The vehicle is powered along by two motors at the rear, four 3.5 kilowatt per hour batteries for a per charge range of up to 87 miles and can be removed in 5 minutes. Hydrofoiler XE1 is an electric bike designed to ride on water. The XE1 has a 460 watt motor that feeds power to the submerged prop, helping the rider get up and out of the water via submerged launch. Once up to speed, the motor helps keep the XE1 propped up on its hydrofoils to minimize drag and increase efficiency. It has a top speed of 13 miles per hour, which can be reached using the pedal assist. It runs on a 36 volt system with 22 amp hours of juice. 
It keeps its battery housed within the waterproof frame, keeping it dry and away from water. The battery allows for a max ride time of 60 minutes and can be recharged to full capacity in about 5 hours. The XE1 electric bike uses pedal assist in conjunction with the motor to help keep the XE1 at a high speed enough to ride on the hydrofoils. Biski functions as a capable but plump two-wheeler on the pavement and as a speedy jet ski on the water. It's powered by two-cylinder gas engines producing 55 horsepower, good enough for max speeds on 80 miles per hour on land and 37 miles per hour on water. It uses a custom dual jet system for on-water propulsion, has both road and marine navigation lighting, and converts between its two modes in less than 10 seconds. When into the water from land, the bi-ski converts into a jet ski style riding with just the push of a button in under 5 seconds. In that time, the rear wheel retracts up into the body and the dual jet water propulsion kicks on and rockets the bi-ski into the waves. Carcon is an electric trike that can carve into corners similar to a two-wheel e-cargo bike. Users can ride this cargo bike just like any other normal bike, even though it's longer and able to carry more people. The interaction between motor control and pedal control is pretty intuitive. The harder you pedal, the more assist the motor will give you. The new Carcon cargo bike is extremely easy to handle when driving around corners. There is a patented carving mechanism underneath the frame. It's like riding a normal bicycle where you would use your body control to steering rather than actually turning the handlebar. It's designed with detachable aluminum frame, double cable steering system, powerful Bosch engine, and a dual battery option for long driving range. Stroke is a cargo delivery electric assisted bicycle. The Stroke cargo trike has a minimal footprint and is no wider than the handlebars of a conventional bicycle. The cargo is mid-mounted, allowing the center of gravity to get even lower and more centralized for ease of riding. The tilting front wheels are always visible to the rider and the double steering linkage is direct and light. The surrounding frame is developed with custom attachment points for maximum luggage flexibility. Boxes, bags, custom-built cases to be bolted on, strapped down, or suspended. It can carry up to 132 pounds of cargo and has a range of up to 93 miles in eco mode. The trike also features a tilting design that actually leans into turns like a standard two-wheeled bicycle. The Lazarus LMV496 is an electric flying motorcycle. In bike mode, it has four wheels used to drive around. Each of them, though, is actually an air rotor. Once the bike goes into flight mode, its wheels fold out and the bike takes off. The wheels rotate until they are placed horizontally, and the motorcycle becomes a quadcopter. The LMV496 is powered on the road by an electric motor capable of providing a range of 60 miles. With a single switch on the dash, users can change from road mode to flight mode. For flight, it has a four horizontal jet turbine engines, one in each corner, delivering 1,300 horsepower of thrust. While in flight, the dashboard displays essential flight information such as speed, position, altitude, and joysticks on either side of the handlebar. Scorpion Hoverbike is a single passenger quadcopter hoverbike. The Scorpion has a max speed of 43 miles per hour and a max altitude of 15 feet with a range of 13 miles. The hoverbike uses LiDAR and the pilot can set any altitude they want and the hoverbike will hold at that altitude. The front and rear propellers overlap each other because the aircraft has designed to take off and land in the standard parking space. It also has multiple safety features such as automatic propeller compensation 
and automatic landing. Using proprietary software, the company is able to limit the range and velocity of the hover bike to ensure the safety of the driver. Aesthetically, the vehicle was inspired by the heavy-duty motorbike frames typically used in X Games. The future can't come soon enough. Which one of these are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. We can't wait to bring you more from the future.